So, hello everyone. Um, first of all, thank you um, for all of you who watched the last video and all of you who liked it. And thanks also for uh, all the nice suggestions I got. Um, I will try to implement all those suggestions when I can. Um, so, let's dig in. Uh, last time we finished when we established the connection between the Arduino and the server. At this point we have to build um, the connection between the server and the client. And for that we're going to use Express and Socket.io. So, let's do that. Let's say Express require Express and we're going to say uh, socket require socket.io Next, uh, the way Express is working is that we're taking this one variable and we put the entire app into that. So, in a sense, here we have an entire app, but now it's empty, so we have to put content into that. So, next thing we're going to say, we have to deal with the port. We have to say, tell the server where to loosen. And we have to deal with two options. One is as long as we're working locally on our computer. And um, the other situation is if we're ever going to put this web app into the web. And then we're going to get an address from, uh, from our host. So we're going to say process that env uh, dot port or 4000 and we basically what we told him that as long as we're working locally listen to port 4000 and if you are um, in, in the web host um, then just take the variable that the, the host will give us um, okay so now we're going to tell the server to listen to the port server equal um, app that listen port and now we have to tell the server where to look for the for the client files so we're going to say app that use Express um, that static um, and we're going to call it public. So, what we did here, we told him, we told the server to look for all the client files in the um, directory that will be called public. We will create this directory soon enough, but now let's finish first of all writing the code. So, the uh, next thing we have to say um, is um, IO equal socket and um, what we're doing here, we're just telling the um, we're telling socket I O where to listen, and we want him to listen to the server. And next thing, we have to deal when we have a connection. We have to deal with the connection. So we say I O that sockets on connection. And um, now we will call it um, uh, 
connected um, now we have to write this function um, so the first thing I want to do is just say um, console that log um, um, new connection plus socket that id and the next thing um, we have to deal with getting a message. Socket IO is working by sending message between the server and the client. So we're sending a message from the server to the client and then we're waiting the reply. So we're going to say um, a socket on message and we will call this function uh, got um, message and in this function let's say got message and let's make that uh, capital M and also here and here what we're going to say here we're going to get all the data we will get the message here and what I want to do here is say IO that socket um, sockets that emit um, message and here we have to write the message so if you remember before we uh, make these two global variables so now I'm going to use this one and when we get the data from the Arduino which is here I'm going to write uh, I see I already did that uh, I'm going to write 2 up equal data and then we're going to send this variable here so we got the data from the Arduino, we put it into a global variable and now we can send, in, send it in a message to the client. Um, so how are we going to check that? To check that, first of all, we have to save this and then we're going to go here into our folder and we have to put all the client files into a directory that we will call public so we will make a new directory um, we will call it public and all the client files are going into that so index.html the sketch.js and the libraries are all going here node modules uh, all the JSON files and the server are part of the server side so they're staying here so um, and now actually we will have to write the um, client side code um, which will, will we will do that in the next um, video I will release it really maybe today or tomorrow I just don't want the videos to be too long 
um, for now what we can do we can just see if um, we don't get any errors okay so first of all we will open uh, the terminal we will cd into our um, directory and then we will say node server.js uh, and okay we don't get any errors we get the data and if we will go here to port 4000 we suppose not to see anything but not to see also any errors um, so I will see you soon enough in the next video it will go out today or tomorrow and hopefully you are um, going to be with me um, I hope you enjoy uh, I hope you would like these videos and um, that's it see you next time